Well, great morning. Um, this morning I'm going to do a read on the uh, Nashville bomber. I did throw the cards this morning and I have these kept out. Um, so I just want to see what's the difference I'm going to get between this reading and the, we'll use the political, the joys of the White House. And I just want to see what type of a reading I get from this, um, how they're going to differ. Now, the more I use these cards, the Intuitive Night, uh, I'm liking them more and more because they are different. They are def definitely different. So the first card out we have is the King of Cups. Um, so this is about uh, you know, yeah. In this one we have really kind of sitting there uh, being the King of the Manor. Really, there is no compassion there, but, uh, you know, this is about uh, putting together, he's painting there, painting what he wants to see. Um, okay. Yeah, usually the King of Cups is a compassionate thing, but as you see, we've got the New York skyline behind there, and uh, this is just kind of, uh, Lounging, lazing, um, yeah. The challenge is, this is not a surprise. The big storm that's been happening and uh, just the worry and all of the drama that's going on, um, Nine of Swords, you know, just overwhelming mental stuff is going on. Um, so let's look at the uh, conscious thoughts is about the lovers, um, closeness, subconscious, things that are being presented that you, one doesn't want to see, doesn't want to deal with. Um, Recent past, we have some victories. We'll have to see what other card comes up with that. What were the victories that were there? And um, I think this has to do with the uh, new administration coming in, Queen of Wands. Um, new energy that's going to be coming in. Okay. So what we have here, how he sees himself. Okay, he sees himself as it looks to be innovative. Um, he wants to think he's got some sort of a power that he was uh, a rocket. We've got the rocket going off. So he was a person that had this intelligence, okay? And uh, he's gonna show what type of uh, power that he has uh, through, through doing this, okay? Um, and I'm thinking that uh, with the lovers and stuff, I think he was seeing himself as um, He's wanting to send a message, but he's wanting to be a bit compassionate about it, so he gives the warning. Um, this wasn't really about hurting other people. It was more about uh, sending a message, okay? Um, 
So how others see this, uh, that he acted alone, okay? He was not happy with things that were happening and he acted alone. Okay, his hopes and fears was about working together uh, and about having some victory, uh, wanting again to send a message and hoping the message had a victory that it would change something, okay? <laughs> Outcome, we have the devil card, the devil. Um, so we have the devil. So this is about, you know, uh, looks like one administration versus another. And that's that, uh, you know, uh, they're listening to this crazy stuff and things are not getting done for the people. So he's hoping to uh, send a message. Um, so when we go back here and try to find out a little more information that uh, we have the king, we have the lovers, and uh, he, you know, he just was inundated by this mental spin. So he's gonna do something of power, put something out there that will get noticed, and definitely that explosion got noticed. Um, so this was to in his mind, move things out of troubled waters to try to, uh, I think, shed some light on things. Um, <clears throat> again, he did act it alone. Uh, it was something that uh, things coming he didn't want to see or deal with. And uh, we have this one, forward into light. Okay. Um, so this was his response about, you know, a lot of things that have been covered over that are not being put out there. Um, and I think more is going to possibly come out that's hidden about him as well. Okay. So we go forward and he, talking about victory, putting this, uh, wanting to have a celebration. Uh, but then again, we have in the end, the devil, and we have new things coming in, and this is, again, um, wanting to see things happen rapidly. Yeah, when it comes to uh, getting things moving out of troubled waters and the things that are being hidden, the high priestess, we have the connection of, of course, um, the White House and things being all about uh, money, money, drama. Okay, things unseen and moving forward rapidly. He wants to have the wish fulfilling card. Wish fulfilling card. And uh, Again, I think this was a message and a warning to the powers that be, because the last card we have is Wheel of Fortune. In other words, you know, you brought this on yourselves, brought this on yourselves. Now let's look at the other reading and see what I got with that. Now, the other reading here is a little, it's a different take. I think the, this next reading is more, um, internally his emotion and that type of thing. Whereas this one was, uh, you know, gave another little perspective on things. So the first card we had out with this situation was feeling a bit beat up, uh, a bit, um, yeah, just buffeted. The challenge is chance. You know, so it, the Wheel of Fortune chance, the stuff that's going on, I, I think it just really has gotten to him. He feels personally, you know, um, what we have next conscious is the monarch. 
5k. Um, so I wanted, I, I think he wanted to be seen, it could be him either wanting to be seen as more having strength and power, um, or it could be uh, the, the monarch would be the emperor. It could also be having to do with the powers that be. Okay, next what we have is the um, subconsciously. This is about uh, working together. Um, working together and financial, this prosperity is wanting to work together. Uh, the recent past is that the universe, you know, the, the world is changing. We just had these elections. Okay, so there is going to be a shift taking place. And recent outcome, well, he's spirit of swords. So I think he's, this has to do with he's not in the picture anymore, but he wanted to leave that spirit that, you know, trying to send a message um, of truth that's going to transform things. Now, we have in there the monarch, a lot of transformation with the butterflies, spirit of swords, transformation. Um, he wanted to uh, put things out there. Uh, again, uh, and now how he sees himself is somebody giving a message, okay? Trying to put out some message of truth, awakening people to uh, what's going on. Um, <clears throat> okay. How others see what's surrounding, the, the area surrounding it is again about uh, financial things. Um, what can be gleaned out of the crops? Again, working together, what can be gleaned? Hopes and fears is that uh, the hope is a better life for people, um, an ending to what's going on, the universe, you know, an ending to this, a better time for people, better, better times, more security. And then the uh, future card is, I think this is again, the spirit of swords and we have this Four of Pentacles, holding to whatever he can hold to. And his, this is his solitary, he's a solitary person, and holding to his spirit of truth that he's trying to put out there. Um, so we look at this, if we juxtaposition it with the Nine of Wands that he's been feeling a little beat up and stuff, and he's... Uh, on his own with this and wanting to put forward this message. It's in a timely manner, um, kind of like, um, you know, this is a karmic message. I'm putting it out there. This is something that needs to be heard. So when we have these, the Nine of Wands, the Monarch, his chance and the Nymph, we look at this is a struggle, you know, that he's in the midst of a struggle with all this drama. We have the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. You know, I think this feels like having to more work together with this economic drama that's going on. Um, People are under hardship. Everyone is struggling. Okay. Moving forward, we have the universe, things ending. He wants to see Ten of Cups. He wants to see uh, better things. Holding to whatever he can hold to on his way out. Spirit of Swords. And uh, this is his. He wants to leave this message as he goes forward. So that's what he wanted to leave behind. Um, we have the struggle and against the uh, powers that be and uh, um, 
with them working out monetary stuff for people and things that there's a lot of heartbreak with that. Again, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's usually my card for the Repugly Uglies, too. Repugly Ugly Party. Um, <clears throat> and then him wanting to go forward. And this is a burden that he's had. And he wanted to put this out. I see it as putting out a message about... We've got the last card is Five of Swords. Abuses of power that have been happening. Um, and it could also be him taking charge, trying to take charge, put out a message. Um, now, I think that these cards feel a lot more um, in-depth and lightened, if you will, <laughs> than the first cards of the political stuff. Um, It feels like he was just disgusted with everything that was going on, just feeling manipulated, feeling um, more could have been done. And so, again, he wants to put out this message um, to leave something behind. He also said he's going to be very famous, okay? Um, people will be talking about me, I think is what he said to a neighbor. And... Uh, He'll be remembered. Well, yeah, <laughs> I guess he will for blowing up part of Nashville. But I think that ultimately, like I said, he, he was in a lot of pain. This is his way of fighting back. Uh, he was very burdened um, mentally about, I think, just the whole thing, the way they're dealing with financial stuff and the Republican Party and they're not working together on this to aid people, to aid anything. Um, he sees this uh, overwhelming, you know, comes down to the first point of everything, abuse of power, which is, uh, so let's walk this backward, an abuse of power which is causing pain and causing a lot of, uh, uh, you know, burden for people to have to carry. So, uh, in going forward, he's talking about the financial thing could also be the repugly uglies and the uh, is uh, putting out that energy of um, this fighting and, and striking back. Okay. Um, he definitely he was acting alone and he was a solitary person just trying to hold on to what he could hold to, wanted to see better things for people, was reassessing things that were going on um, externally, okay? Putting out a message that he thought was in a timely manner. Um, wanted to leave that, uh, the spear, what he thought was a spirit of truth, cutting through about uh, the world situation, things going on, about the monetary thing working together. Uh, this could be, like I said, either his seeing his own uh, show of a strength, or this could also be uh, President um, president, monarch, and not doing the transformation that should be happening and his feeling uh, buffeted by this whole drama, okay? So um, we get to the other one, and again, it, the last card was this is an outcome of the happening, karma card, and uh, timely, wanted to do this in a timely manner, okay? was about opportunities for families, wanting to see things rapidly take place. Uh, there are so many hidden things. Wanted to see things coming uh, forward out of, the, um, out of the difficulties. 
you know, uh, in the end we have the devil and this uh, misbegotten um, things that are going on with these administrations. He wanted to see more of this uh, celebratory getting out of it. Uh, he acted alone. This was his show of strength. Um, just thinking about, uh, I think, new things coming in, wanting a victory over this uh, feeling of uh, just um, overwhelming all this drama that's happening. And he was concerned about people. All of this comes out of that mental spin that he was in and this, uh, the storms, the storms that are happening. I think this is the most influential card in this deck with this. Just, just that storm brewing, overwhelming coming in, um, just overpowering and just, uh, okay. Again, the beginning, the King of Cups. So just uh, this, in, in this King of Cups, it was not one that's really compassionate at all. Uh, this was, uh, <laughs> this was the last, um, what was his name? Uh, Herbert Walker Bush, is it Bush? Yeah. So just that being up there, being comfy, you know, the, the comfort is for him that, that the administration's powers that be were in their comfort zone. Everybody else was out of their comfort zone. And uh, they're supposed to be compassionate, but there was no compassion there. It's just uh, whatever, up in his high tower, um, and enjoying life and not really caring what happens to the people. So that uh, card that should be a king of the compassion and stuff, uh, this was being painted uh, as just really out of touch, uh, up in his high tower, not um, really not... Uh, caring about people and their situations and things. So anyway, that's what I'm getting from two different decks, uh, the readings on them. Um, so while they're not exactly the same, they are similar in a lot of respects, but I just wanted to see the different flavors you get from the different decks very different flavor. Um, I have to say out of the two, uh, I did like this uh, deck was much easier to, um, I think gave a little more in-depth, in-depth reading of things rather than the political deck. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here. Love and light to everyone. And I'll see you on Line.